video we're going to be working on a massive Ferguson 175 with hydraulic issues. It, it cannot seem to, with remotes, pick up or, or do any of the typical hydraulic functions. So we're guessing it's going to be a hydraulic pump, but we're going to tear into it and see what we find. So with that said, here we go. Okay, so first things first, as soon as I pulled the oil, as soon as I pulled the uh, plug and drained the hydraulic fluid, I mean, you can see it, it's, uh, well, let me see if I can get in the camera, you can see it's a, it's a magnetic mess, so that's not a good sign. Probably ate the pump.
all right it is the next day and uh, I didn't realize until the end that the camera turned off at one point so I'm not for sure what you saw or did not indeed see but with that said the pump is off and it's actually two pumps you got your lower pump that actually handles all of your three-point hitch functions and then you have your upper pump and that's what controls your your front end loader and well your your remotes that you can use for front end loaders and that sort of thing so with that said we're going to get it on the bench and uh get that pump off and get it apart and see what we're looking at see if the pump's okay or if it needs rebuilt needs a new pump see what we need here we go So after tearing into this pump and a little diagnosis, Chris is going to explain the findings. Okay, this is basically a gear tap pump. The, these end plates should be perfectly smooth and as you can see, they're scored pretty bad and worn down. So that'll let oil bypass. and. The housings inside where the gear rides has got some wear. And of course the other plate down in the bottom is worn. So oil is bypassing, causing it to lose pressure. And when that happens, your hydraulics are slow because there's not enough pressure. This is actually a two two section pump uh, one section operates the high and low on the transmission the other section works the loader and the lo our loader was slow and it that section has the most wear so that's where our problem is good deal all right well with that being said Looks like we'll be getting the pump. So, here we go. Morning, folks. Well, it's a dreary day. Rainy, about to storm. But we ain't gonna let that stop us. Because we got a pump for this thing. So, we are gonna make this happen. Let's get to the bench. So, got us a shiny new pump. The only difference between our old pump and our new pump is a bypass valve. 
no worries. So, we gotta put a frittens and whatnot on our new pump from our old pump. And then stick it all back together. Well, you probably know where this is going. Here we go. Alright guys, sorry about the rain sound, but yeah, it's raining, it's raining hard, so it is what it is. But something I wanted to show y'all that I find different between the aftermarket pump and the, the factory OEM pump, and other than just the bypass valve, is this. And you're going to notice this. Okay, you're going to see that possibly on yours it's bossed for a bolt hole. Okay, as opposed to, as you can see, there is no such thing here. So, let me show you what's going on so that you don't have to be overly consumed about that and think that that's something you're going to have to address because it really isn't. So, here, let me get a light. So we can shed some light on things yeah I know I know it wasn't very punny but anyway okay as you can see this okay you can see it's kind of well it's just over here, right there is no bolt on at least on this 175 for the secondary pump there is no bolt okay so don't worry yourself about that it'll be fine Oop. so we're gonna get this put back on right after i get this the secondary pump back on the primary pump so here we go everybody so upon further inspection we really didn't like what we found as you can see some of these parts are well hopefully you can see that some of these parts are less than desirable no witness mark on that oh yeah I'm, I'm pretty certain you can see that and of course on the plates so oh and another another thing we found was the the body of the original pump allowed long bolts to pass all the way through it however on this pump that is not the case but it does not seem to affect the the actual assembly but something you are going to need is a third short bolt with the small head being you can even find it so with that said you're going to have some stuff to accommodate nothing's ever easy with this old stuff y'all 
anyway we're gonna get some parts and get that going all right everybody so i think we've got everything we need we got our replacement parts here i believe everything except for a bolt and you know what maybe it won't need to have the head that flat maybe it will we're gonna find out and when we do we'll address it so here we go everybody so I've got the pump in mounted and everything got everything ready to go so 
here in a moment. Chris is going to come out here and help me. We're going to roll this to here and then bolt it on. Click. And we'll make these two pieces whole again. So, with that said, here in just a moment, Chris and I'll do just that. It's the next day. We didn't get much time on this tractor yesterday, so we just got started at the end of the day on it. With that said, it, it's uh, it's dreary outside. By the way, if you haven't seen the video, or maybe it hasn't released yet, it probably will very soon. You'll want to watch the Case 2080. I mean. It's a big fella. See the cab over there? Yeah. You're going to want to watch that one. Anyway. Back on our little Massey with the hydraulic pump issues. I've done my best to light this area up. So, let's just step over here in the studio, if you will. Still got to finish bolting it up you know the two pieces together because as you seen we only got a few bolts in it yesterday and then let's see if I can there we go then we'll plumb the rest of this out and then we should be ready to set our top and you know finish buttoning this up and today we'll have this little massy 175 ready to get back into service so with that said and without further ado i'm gonna get set up and we'll get right after it here we go Okay, so we are ready for our pump top, which as you can see just off camera, I went ahead and thrown it in the old engine stand. And whenever Chris gets back, I'll get him to help me and we'll put this pump top back in. I mean, in many cases, you could probably do them by yourselves if it, except for on this Massey. Let me get this part in show you what I'm on about there's this little wheel I'm sure you've already noticed it by now here it is this here let me see if I can turn it out of the light here this little wheel right here you see this you're going to need help placing because the reality is It operates with this here, okay? And where that is going to be, as frustrating, as frustrating as this is, where that is going to be, I guess I shouldn't have turned off all the lights. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah. You know what, it'd be better to show you through that window because that's where you're gonna have to put this dude 
on and take it off. It's there through that port window. It's pretty dark. There it is, though. As you can see here, what I'm going to do is see if I can get in a position. There. You can kind of see my hand is, you know, kind of hovering. And it's really dark. I'll tell you what. I'm going to reshoot this with light. Alright, I tried to film this earlier, but I didn't have enough light. So as you can see, I've got the I've got the pump top already on the engine on the uh, engine hoist. It's already the most part ready for us to stab back. I have to wait on Chris because well there is a tiny little wheel. As I'm sure you noticed during this assembly, and if you did not, well, I'm sure you found it in the bottom of the pan. It was like, Ooh, what is this? Well, I'm glad you asked. As you can see, it's round, it's a wheel, it rolls. It's got two little tangs on it. On our end. And this fancy wheel um, it's meant to move this lever back and forth. And how it does so. Uh, let's go to the other side. You're really gonna be looking through your port window far side, which I'll kind of explain in a little bit. Okay. Alright, so you have to be fishing through this way. Yes, it is not going to be enjoyable. But, essentially, what you have to do is that but you have to do it with the pup top in your way and the lever right there but that that is what you have to ultimately do i'll try to i'll try to get a little bit of a video or a picture or something of it when it is in its completed state and hopefully try to shed some light on it for you pun intended so with that said here just shortly when Chris makes it back and he's ready to go we're gonna stab this pump top so Okay, now that Chris and I got the pump top back on, as I was saying earlier, I'll try to give you a view of your, of the little wheel, as I was saying, that goes back in that you have to load from the side cover. So, there it is. As you can see, I'll see if I can highlight it on the video, maybe circle it or I don't know. 
I'll do something so that you can see it a little better, but that's where that needs to be placed. And, and by the way, if you're having trouble and it's not your pump, sometimes it can just be the lever, not the wheel, but the lever not going where it should not having its full range of travel so that's something that you might be able to check if you're having an issue and it's not your pump so there's that tidbit now i'm gonna get set up and we're gonna wrap this thing up we're not far we're not far away from having this done so here we go okay everybody it's time to wrap up our 175 massive all that's left is going to be putting a few carter pins in on the other side as well and in the back and putting our cover back on here silicone it put it on then the seat and then we'll just be ready to top this thing off with fluids and make it run so there we go Okay, everybody, I may or may not have forgotten to push record, but all you missed, all you missed was step, seat, and a couple carter pins, and all that's left now, oh, and the cover over there, the far side cover, look, a little silicone, put your bolts back in, if you made it that far, well, missing the seat and the steps and you know, a side inspection cover. It, it really ain't gonna make you one bit of difference. So, with that said, oh, and I had to reconnect our electrical. But that's it. I mean, where we're at now is just top this baby off with some hydraulic fluid, give it the old crank, check it out, and out of the shop it rolls. So, stay tuned, I guess. All right, so. Why is there a puddle on the floor? Well, just off camera, we went ahead and cranked this dude up and Chris reached up and pulled the lever and sure enough, our new pump works because all that new pressure just blew a hose. So, yay, it works. Boo, gotta take off a hose. So let's get the hose off, get this thing replaced so we can get this thing finished up. Here we go. Got that line off we'll get it replaced and uh get it back on and well we'll make this thing go here we go all right got our new hose i went ahead and thrown some thread compound on because we have an adapter with ours you may not have this so it might not be necessary but should you have an adapter make sure you run thread compound you know, Teflon tape, liquid Teflon, which is what I'm using. You know, you just don't want it to leak. So, with that said, I'll get this adapter spun on and then we'll get this hose in. Here we go. Not sure why that cut off, but yep, it is very fast now. It's essentially like a brand new unit. Excellent. So as you see him rolling off into the distance there behind me, it don't take a whole lot to keep these old masses in the fight. So we got that one wrapped up. Maybe that'll help you fix yours too. Thanks for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little bell icon. That'll tell you when our videos come out, which by the way, we try to have our videos out every Friday.
yeah 6 p.m. Central Time on Friday with that said thanks for watching Lewis Equipment Service and we will see you in the next one hey everybody thanks for watching please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to share and hit that notification bell